Hey, welcome back. We're last episode. We explored the Sexton uh, Mountain Path. And now we're here in the mine. Well, not in the mine, but we're headed that way. And, you know, we're just gonna have a fun time exploring, looking for the miner metal with our good friends. And also probably figuring out why the RMP are here. Uh, this looks like the entrance. This is indeed the entrance. Well, thank you for your cooperation. If you'll excuse us. Sure. Take care on your way out. Away. Looks like the railway military police really are here. But why would they come out to a mine? Hmm? Who are you kids? What are you doing here? It's great to see you again, Rudolph. Well now, if it isn't little Elisa. It's been ages since I last saw you around here. What brings you- Oh! Looks like you've brought some friends this time too. Actually, we're... Ah, so you're the group from the military academy. I heard you were scheduled to come, but I guess the date sh uh, slipped my mind. <laughs> Sorry to drop in unannounced. Oh, no trouble at all. The doors of Sexton are always open for little Lisa. No, oh, I suppose you're not so little anymore. You've really grown up since I last saw you. Ah, is that young fellow with the black hair your sweetheart? <coughs> oh, he's talking about Reen. Uh, of course not! We're just classmates! Um, yeah, what she said. Gasp. Reen, is there something you've been keeping from us? I admit, I wasn't expecting you to know the foreman. Well, Grandfather brought me here quite a few times when I was young. And the chief was always really nice. You've got some friends in high places. Well, Gwyn was always good to us miners. For the chairman of such a huge company, he was always so easy to get along with. I could talk with him like a friend. <laughs> I know what you mean. Oh, come to think of it, you all go to Thor's. So you must know Angelica Rockner, right? She, how's she doing? Huh? So you know Jellica, too? That I do. She used to work here as a part-timer, after all. Say what? A daughter of one of the four great houses working in a mine? Yeah, she's Marquis Rogner's daughter. Can't say I know much about her family situation. But she never mentioned it back when she started here. And she picked up the work in no time. Put in a harder day's work than most of our regular miners, too. Wait, put in a harder day's work than most of our regular miners, too. You don't see too many gals like uh, out there like her. I can hardly believe it. And yet, somehow I can. <laughs> well, it sounds just like her. There's nothing normal about Angelica. Every time I've got my eyes on a girl, she'll swoop in and have them head over heels for her before I get a chance. She sounds less like a noble by the minute. <laughs> well, it takes all sorts, doesn't it? Gotta say, I kind of miss those days, though. Reinford's current chairman, she's a sharp lady, and quite a looker, too. But she's none too friendly. Never shows her face around here, and considering how much of a workaholic she is, I don't imagine she ever will. Hmm. Ah, beg your par- uh, beg your pardon. Didn't mean to speak badly of your mother and, uh, Elisa. Hope you can forgive me. No, it's alright, really. I might be her daughter, but I probably know less about her these days than the company, uh, board. Elisa. Oh, by the way, what were the railway military police doing here? Oh, those guys? Uh, they've been dropping by quite a bit lately, asking some questions about our operations. Today they were ba uh, badgering me for all sorts of statistics about how much ore we've been mining. That seems like an odd question, even for the RMP. Why would they have a need for information like that? I don't know, but it sounds more than a little fishy. Yeah, I'm not even sure what, I, what it was they were trying to figure out. Anyway, I'm guessing that's not the reason you trekked all the way out here. Oh, right. Whoops, I 
can't believe we almost uh, let it slip our mind. Actually, there's something we were hoping you could help us with. Rian explained the request to retrieve an ore uh, sample from the sealed mine shaft on behalf of Professor Smit. Smit it. Hmm. So that's your business, is it? I do recall a metal like that being found in those old tunnels. But we sealed that shaft off quite a while back before a dangerous monster decided to make the place its haunt. Ha uh, 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 haunt. Sounds like you already know that much, though. You really cert- you really certain you want to head in there? Yeah, that's the plan anyway. We wouldn't normally ask to do this, but it's a uh, part of our field study. Monsters on, on field studies are one of our specialties. Hmm. Alright then. You all look like you can handle yourselves in a tussle. I'll admit. As, well, you're so much nicer than the Provincial Army, holy crap. I suppose you'd be able to hold your own against whatever's in there. Mineshaft key. This will open the door to the mineshaft. Thank you so much. <laughs> Don't mention it. If you keep on this way and head east at the junction, you'll see the entrance to the sealed mineshaft. But it bears repeating. Be careful in there. No one's been inside for years now. We will. Alright, let's mosey. You have a way with words, Crow. Excellent. I did not save over my previous save, which was what I was afraid of. I guess there's only one way, is there? Yes, there's only one way. <gasps> oh, there's so much... Um... Yes, this way. Door. The door's locked. <gasps> Rena, unlock the doors! That was easy. Going in. These tunnels really are gloomy. Well, we are in an abandoned mine shaft. What were you expecting? Confetti and parades? We'll need to stay on guard for the monsters, too. It was obviously dangerous enough to seal off the entire tunnel. Yeah, caution is our first priority here. Alright, let's see if we can find some, some of this linium. Stay on your guard. We don't know what might find us in here. Roger. I'm going to take a wild guess and say that uh, the monster that's been hanging out around here probably has the uh, linium on lockdown. So I will probably have to fight it regardless. Which isn't a problem. None of these boxes can break! I keep shooting them! And that's what I call a chest. Thank you, Crow. That is actually the first time that I was alerted of a chest before I saw it. Let's go. Stepping up your game on alerting me of chests. Uh, strong fire weakness. <gasps> I can do fire. Oh, I can do a lot of fire. It's my turn. I'm the king of fire. It, you might, you might say. Huh. Yeah. My um, turn. Okay, maybe that's not. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> maybe I shouldn't be using my an turn. art, especially when so powerful. <laughs> Holy damn! Huh. Oh. Oh yeah, they're dead. That's that. Let's keep moving. Oh. Oh, let's try your chest. Oh, thanks, Elliot. Yeah. What? Um, it's red. Summons the flames of Gehenna to turn enemies to ash. Green. <laughs> You're in need. Um. Hmm. Mm. Can I replace this? No, I can't. Ah, oh, that sucks. I don't really use needle shoot that much, though. <gasps> I can replace it. Oh, joy. You must have all of the flame attacks. Huh. Oh, you're back. Haven't seen you in a while. Huh. Oh, yeah. Now's our chance. Yes. Here we go. Let us fight. Wait. Uh, strong fire weakness. Oh, only on the one. How much does it do? Go. Oh. Oh. That's a lot. That, that's a lot. So I'm just gonna do this right now. Hiya. Yes. Yeah. 
Leave it to me. Now yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Stronger enemies. <laughs> hey, yeah. Let's go, Reen. Oh. Okay, it's safe for now. Oh, it is. Mm, where do we go now? Hello. No! Oh my god! I made a mistake! Fight me! Now's our chance! We can do this! Oh, only three? My turn! Not bad. Hiya! I can do this! This will be easy. Fire! And dead! Right. There's one down, two left. Hiya! It's my turn! Eat that. Not the one oh turn. wow! Okay. <laughs> Never leave my party, Machias. You will Let's go You'll stay here forever. This is this is your life now. I did it. Yay, Rain. Destructive boxes. Morass Epith. And nothing else. Well, I mean, I'm fine with my. Oh, more. Oh. Okay, it was a farce. Hmm. No, you had your back turned and everything. Eat that. Hi yeah. Now's our chance. All right. I think. Here we go. I think you know what to do. With a flare bomb uh, to all of their faces. Turn. Ooh. Eat that. Range attack. Right. Yeah. Ooh, hmm. neat. Uh, I'll just be yeah. taking this thing out, or I oh. won't. Oh, good. That's that. Let's keep moving. Awesome. Moving forward. Um. Oh, hello. Ooh, that looks important. Well, first, let me try going down here super quick. Hello. Face me. Now's our chance. I wish to my fight turn. you to the death. Now's our chance. I've got it. Hi -ya. It's my turn. Oh, cool. It's my turn. My turn. Hi -ya. Oh, we did it. Excellent. Ooh. So close. So close to the other two leveling up. Eat that. A door further down into the, uh, mine. I'm assuming I'm going to figure out a way to open that soon. Awesome! I didn't know why I saved there, but that's fine. <sighs> well, I haven't seen anything that fits the description we were given. They said they'd only found small amounts of it back before this tunnel was sealed. Shall we keep looking? We should probably make a more thorough, uh, sweep of the area. Oh, that's the monster! Ah! What's that? That must be the monster we were, uh, warned about. So it decided to come out and greet us after all, huh? Ready or not, we're in for a fight! Watch out. This is a tough one. Oh, we you go. think so? Uh, well first let's, uh, make sure... Yeah, yeah, this will be great. Flame Slash. Flames? Directly, directly to his face. He wants an ultimate shot. Excellent. Whew. I'm gonna make quick work of this bastard. Whoa, that's not where I wanted this to go. Oh. Well, that thing's dead. Still not what I wanted, but it'll work. Oh, jeez, critical. You okay? Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Alyssa. Ow! Go. Um... Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go with this. Oh, you know what? Turn. I could use that new thing I just got. I'll worry about it later. Eat that. Go. Uh, burst! Finish him off. Go. Please tell me I'm not getting just the one. <gasps> I'm hitting all of them! Oh, this is great. Yes, you can. And it's dead. <laughs> Is everyone okay? Oh, we are fine. You Wait, don't need to okay. worry. All right. <laughs> I did it. I mean, like I did load it up Please, with S crafts. Ooh, what's birth drive do? It'd be helpful if I read it. Phew. Glad that's over. Oh. 
Hey, I knew it. Huh? Is it just me? Or does this look exactly like a nice chunk of linium? Oh. Or so that monster had eaten it? Huh. That was a bit rougher of a ride than I was prepared for. Oh, come on. It was easy. Still, that's mission accomplished, I guess. Yeah. Let's get this back to the Institute of Technology. Let's say goodbye to the chief on our way out, if we get the chance. Indeed. Uh, anything else to discover down here, though? Okay, I guess not. Away! At super speed! I mean... I, I, I was kind of expecting... I was expecting that for the monster to have the linium. It was pretty obvious. Hello. Oh, Chief. Hello, Chief. Oh, it looks like you were, uh, looks like you were able to get your metal uh, sample out safely. Should have guessed that Gwen's granddaughter and her friends would be up to the task. <sighs> it was no walk in the park. What with having to fight off that monster. Do you guys just not, do, do you guys just not know how easy that was? I did load it up with s craps, but still. Haha! <laughs> well, you did good work nonetheless, monster fighting and all. Make sure you get that to the Institute of Technologies, alright? Yay! We've made progress! Can I just go there? No? Alright. Oh, wait! Oh, the RMP's. What? What? Oh, oh, there we go. The RMP's car is gone. For as much as they left, I think. And out we go! Back to Ruhr with us. Wait, I'm going the wrong way. Uh, excuse me. One. Be careful. Oh, you don't know. <laughs> I've dealt with tougher, to be honest. I probably should be fighting, but I really want to complete this quest before the video is over. I've got time. It's only 17 minutes. Um, yes, I am going the right way. I got a little confused, it's been a while. Mmm, still going the right way. Almost. Excuse me. Ruer! Give it a second. Oh, there we go. Um, I'm going upstairs, aren't I? Which one's the up escalator? This one's down escalator! Yes! Success! Uh, excuse me. Oh, yeah. Hi! Oh, did you manage to find any linium? Sure did! Here you go! Thanks! This is exactly what I was hoping to get my hands on. This should be plenty to serve as a research sample. <laughs> I'm happy to hear it. Hear you hear that. Of course! It was actually, or if you actually went in and cleared the monster out, the monsters out of there, I'm sure you could get plenty more. That's something we can consider after we've proved this is a ver uh, a viable material. That's all part of the research. And this is Professor Smit. Smit it. Uh, we're talking about. Sorry, I'm sure we'll deliver some kind of, uh, or he'll deliver some kind of interesting result. It was an honor to, uh, th whoa, 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 I briefly forgot how to read. Uh, it was an honor to have been able to aid the professor's, uh, research. And then dogs started barking. It was a pretty rough job, though. No. <laughs> Thanks, I'm grateful for all your help. And I'd like you to take these as a reward. You material. Thank you very much. Anyway, it's back to work for me now. Good luck with your field study. Thank you. Glad we could help out. <sighs> Quest complete. Oh. Um, where to now? Oh, didn't... Uh, oh, okay, never mind. The story progressed. Looks like the sun's starting to set already. That took longer than I expected. Huh. I'm not surprised. That was a hard day's work, even by our standards. <laughs> well, at least we were able to finish all of the requests, and that's what really matters. Now, let's
let's head back home and wait for my mother. Haha, <laughs> you said it. Someone seems awfully cheerful. Hmm? What's wrong? There's something going on over there. Oh. Seems like something out of the ordinary. It sounds like it's coming from the plaza on the lower floor. Let's go take a closer look. Yes, let's. Whoa. Hey, isn't that... No, no way! Oh. The RMP and the Provincial Army. What are the Provincial Army and the Railway Military Police doing here? Ugh. I have a bad feeling about this. This doesn't look good. I don't know what's happening, but these guys look like they're... they mean business. Let's go down to the lower floor and get a closer look. Right. It's so hard for us not to get involved in the political affairs. Oh! The, the escalator! They or uh, they cordoned it, uh, bleh, they cordoned it off. What are they thinking? Looks like we'll have to find another way down. The elevator, which I used by accident. Elevator. Ride the elevator. Seriously, guys, you're gonna cordon off the escalator, but not the elevator? What kind of provincial army are you? Huh? This is bad. Dog! Preserving order and ruler is the duty of the Nordia Provincial Army. Our duty! We've had quite enough of outsiders like yourselves swaggering into town as though you own the place. If I may, we're currently here on a mission for which we have full authority. Besides, the expansion of the railway, or the railways, has increased the flow of money, information, and people across the country. These days, it takes a modern organization to maintain order in a interconnected world. That organization is the RMP. So why don't you... Uh, take your sashes, <laughs> sashes and your pointy helmets and kindly keep out of our way. You son of a... Sir, I can't let insolence like this tr uh, tarnish our good name. No, you're doing a pretty good job of that yourselves. Now, now, let's not be too hasty here. They may answer to the Chancellor, but with only this many of them, they're nothing more than a mob in uniforms. Um, excuse you. What the hell? Uh, armored cars! Maybe the RMP aren't the ones to be put in their place. Maybe it's the Provincial Army. Wow, they're actually pointing those giant tank guns at them. Are you insane? Yes. You can't just roll military vehicles in the middle of a city. On the contrary, army exists, wait, arms exist as tools to defend one's territory, one's country. Had we been the ones fighting the terrorists, I assure you, we would not have been outsmarted. Yes, you would have. You guys are awful. Citizens of Ruhr, you have nothing to fear. In these dangerous times, with terrorists running rampant, the Nordia Provincial Army is here to defend you from harm. And defend you we shall. These glorified beat cops are out of their death. They know nothing of this community. Freaking hate your face. I suggest you don't place too much trust in them. What a blowhard. It's like he's spoiling for a fight. He's really selling it to the uh, populace. But they can't just drive armored cars right into the city streets. Uh, what do we do? They're both officially recognized military organizations. I don't think there's much we can do. But if for some reason things turn ugly, let's do everything we can to get all of the nearby residents uh, to safety. Right. Bah. Humbug. Guess that's as much help as we can offer. You're Pretty quite much. correct, of course. Claire? 
Both the provincial army and the railway military police have their own roles to fill, each important to the Empire. Oh, hey! Isn't that... It is Claire! Captain Claire! I didn't know you, you'd arrived. And that you suddenly don't have a voice anymore. I'll take things from here. Yes, Captain! Yes, ma'am! So, that's her, huh? Yeah, the infamous Icy Maiden. Good day to you, officer. I believe the Imperial government notified you two days ago that we'd be conducting patrols and investigations in the area. Has it really caused such inconvenience that you felt compelled to bring an armored car within the city limits? You go, Claire! W well, you're on a roll. And frankly, I can't bring myself to agree with your assertion that we're out of our depth here. The railway is a network that crosses the entire empire, allowing us to dispatch forces anywhere at the moment's notice. We can also gather divisions scattered across the country in one place in a matter of hours. In fact, we pride ourselves on it. It's our dis uh, distinguishing feature as a division of the armed forces. R really? I do keep seeing some pop up in the Imperial uh, Chronicle. Looks like Claire showed up at the perfect time. As quick-witted as ever, too. Heh. <laughs> now there's a classy lady for you. Ugh. We have no quarrel with you and no reason to argue. We have enough on our plates with the terrorists as it is. But we've got a job to do. And so do you. Ultimately, our com uh, commitment is to the people of this nation. I'm sure you feel the same, no? B but that- A query for you, then. How would you respond if a crisis were to occur in multiple places at the same time? Rufus! Rufus? Oh, hey, Eustace's his brother really gets around. And always turns up where we least expect him. L Lord Rufus, we didn't know you were in Ruhr. Are you leaving already? Freaking stop doing that with the voices, it's freaking me out. Indeed, I am his lordship, or yeah, I am. His lordship asked me to extend my stay, but I'm afraid I have business to attend elsewhere. I'll be heading out in short order. Hmm. Claire isn't a super fan of Rufus, is she? So that's Duke Aubrey's oldest son. As a noble faction's biggest up-and-comer, uh, up he sure dresses the part. Ah, Captain Claire Revelt, I presume? It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. I've heard much about you. It's an honor, Lord Alborea. Please, no need for formalities between us. Rufus is fine. Still, you seem puzzled as to what I'm doing in Ruhr. Or, to be more specific, how I got here. Do I assume correctly? The country's railways are completely under your control. Had I taken a train, you would have known it. And yet, there are no signs I passed through Ruhr Airport either. The truth is more mundane than fantastic. I arrived aboard the Alborea family's private airship, which currently sits just off a highway on the outskirts of the city awaiting my return. I... Blind spots are an unavoidable reality. We all have them. As on the ball as you are, you do well not to overestimate your own superiority. After all, the hardest falls are the ones we don't see coming. I'll be sure to keep that in mind. Now, isn't it time both sides withdrew? and remove those unsightly vehicles from the streets at once. A provincial army must conduct itself with valor and grace at all times. Would you not agree? Pre precisely, my lord. Withdraw! Armored crew, stand down! Yes, my lord. And off they go. Uh -huh. Fortune finds us face to face once again. Yeah, we kind of just stand out, so no surprise there. S so, it seems... Thank you for diffusing this that situation the other day. Huh. 
Haha, <laughs> you needn't be so formal. I was just in town to speak with the Marquis on my uh, father's behalf. Uh huh? I imagine you two must have had a lot to talk about. <laughs> Indeed we did. And the Marquis never makes it uh, an easy time. I took advantage of all the excitement surrounding the courageous maiden voyage to take my little trip unnoticed. Given the current climate, it's impossible to predict what may happen, both here and in Ordis. You have three days of your field study remaining. I suggest you focus on your assigned tasks and stay out of trouble. I'm looking forward to seeing what Class 7 has to show at the Academy's festival, after all. A rock concert! We're going to be excellent. I think. Phew. Man, you meet Eusis and you think you've seen the nobility's golden boy. Then you meet Rufus. I'm actually kind of impressed. I'm almost loath to admit it, but over time, I have gotten to the impression that he's a gold or the good man. For a noble, anyway. He's a sharp guy. I can see why he has as much uh, sway in the noble faction as he does. Hmm. Well, it looks like the sun's about to set. Why don't we call it a day here? My mother might know more about what's going on with the provincial army and the RMP. Yeah, I can get behind that. Nothing happens in Ruhr without Marquis Rockner's say-so. We need to figure out what he's up to. I'm also rather curious as to what brought the railway military police out here. Or the army, who seems to be driving tanks into cities to win arguments now. Yeah, we uh, there's got to be something going on behind the scenes that we don't know about. There always is. That's going to make for, uh, for some interesting dinner conversation, huh? We'll find out soon enough. Anyway, come on, I'll show you to my home. No, I guess you've already been there. It's part of the Rhineford building. Huh? Wait a minute. So you live... Didn't she say that? Wow, this is a long video. And the penthouse suite in floor 24 and 25, yes. That's my family's house, more or less. Oh, so we're just going there? Alright, cool. Man. I can't believe your family has the top two floors of a world-class high-rise all to itself. Well, I'm going to leave it at that. So thank you for watching. If you like this video and you want to see more, please press the little subscribe button. If you like this video specifically, please like and share this video. Next time, I'm going to go to the penthouse suite and see what there is to see and experience the story and other things. And, geez, long video. Holy crap. So thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.